Okay, I want to cover uh, referential integrity in database. All right, but uh, you can read them up inside your textbook. All right, all the PowerPoint slide, but I want to show what is the significance behind it. All right, so I'm going to use a very simple uh, access database to show this. Okay, so first let me explain the database itself. All right, two table, simple. Uh, one is student. Okay, so you got the student details here, and you got the uh, country code. And of course, you have the country code and the country name. Simple. All right. Then there is uh, the okay the code, which is the country code, and the student ID are the primary key. And of course, you can see that there's a relationship here. And let me just click this relationship. All right and you can see that i have enforced the referential integrity right, so this is check okay now the importance of referential integrity is so that the database do not lose its meaning all right which means the database uh, will always be logically correct all right you'll be logically correct so how to make it so all right so put it this way okay let me just save this all right so i know that i have three country china malaysia and singapore let's say one student comes in so i have a new student okay so let's say student number four uh whatever let's say uh low and okay low stay over here but let's say this student is a new student from some place that uh we never encounter all right let's say us but i do not have a us in the country or in the country table so you see when i try to add this it tells me that i cannot add the record because there is no such record inside the country table all right so of course i can't do it so i have to escape but let's assume there is a way for us to violate this referential integrity. All right, let's assume all right, this record actually goes in. Of course, it can't go in, but let's assume it goes in. So someone in the future is going to come here and then it's going to see, oh, there's a country US. What is US? I don't know. All right, maybe this person uh, do not know this country code. And he goes to the country all right, uh, table. And he said, hey, there is no US. So I still do not know where the student actually come from. So it doesn't actually make sense. Right? So if this is allowed, right, which is this violate the referential in integrity, if this is allowed, then very soon the database will start to lose its meaning. Right? People cannot make sense of the database. Okay, so what should we do now is basically we cannot add this but if let's say i really want to add a us i have to first create a us then go back to the student and this time okay let's say uh if i put in us it will go in see that so now I have a student from Malaysia, China, Singapore, and US. But let's say now I want to go to this table, country, and I want to delete Singapore. I want to delete this record. It still won't let me delete the record. Why? Simple, because I still have student using the SG code as the country. Because if I am allowed to delete, then someone from the student table in SG right, will try to come here to this country code and find what is SG and they will not find the record. Again, the database will be messed up. 
So if I really want to delete the SG code, I have to make sure that no one is actually using the SG. So let's say if I delete this first. Okay, so it's gone. Then I go to the country table and I want to delete the record. Now it will work. Okay, so now it actually will work. So once you create something like this, this type of relationship, you sort of have a parent and child relationship between tables. So if you want to add something, you have to add it in the parent first before you use it in the child. But if you want to delete something, you have to make sure that all the child's records are deleted before you actually delete the parents record okay so the purpose of referential integrity is to make sure that the database itself retains its meaning and it won't lose its logical meaning which is very important to a database because database store data if you store data that doesn't have meaning then there's no point of storing data at all